1929, astronomer Edwin Hubble attributed the redshift of the light emitted by galaxies according to their distance to a Doppler Fizeau effect. This interpretation was in line with the expansion of the universe discovered by Georges Lemaitre as a consequence of the general relativity theory. The Hubble Lemaitre effect is linked to this expansion of the universe so that very distant galaxies have a corresponding shift at speeds much greater than the speed of light. The GNZ 11 galaxy's 11.1 redshift is the largest ever measured. It corresponds to a speed of recession twice the speed of light. Relativists attribute this redshift to the expansion of the universe at 70 km per second per megaparsec. The distance between galaxies increases and the further apart they are from each other, the higher their apparent relative speed. The actual relative speeds of galaxies are much lower. There is therefore no paradox in the context of the theory of relativity. A Doppler Fizeau effect was obviously the first idea to come to mind at a time when theories of atoms were only just beginning to be proposed. There is in fact a fundamental inconsistency in the Big Bang theory considered as the consequence of the Hubble Lemaitre effect. The Big Bang theory is an evolutionary process of progressive formation of the universe. However, in this theory, Particles should have characteristics that have remained unchanged from their formation at the very beginning until today. Yet it would be infinitely more consistent to think that these particles also formed gradually. And they gather to form the many types of atoms. A very different interpretation of the red shift could be envisaged today. If the characteristics of the particles gradually change, and if they keep changing, then the characteristics of the atoms they form must also change. Consequently, the light emission spectra of these atoms must evolve over time. The light that reaches us now coming from galaxies is the more redshifted they are more remote. This explanation is consistent with the idea of evolution on which modern science is based. It must obviously have multiple consequences that are easy to imagine in all areas of astronomy. For example, it could be thought that the evolution of particles comes from a kind of accretion. This accretion implies the existence of something below the particles which would be the cause. Obviously it could be thought to dark matter, these mysterious chameleons imagined to explain the rotation curve of galaxies which does not conform to Kepler's laws. Chameleons gradually aggregate in the particles.